Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm so grateful. In today's video, I wanted to talk about whether you should be staying with your specific person and recreating them or you should be manifesting a new person altogether. So this is going to be a very, very personalized topic. Uh, the opinions on this topic are very, very subjective and you'll find a lot of content out there actually that project a lot of limited beliefs on this specific topic and in general there's a lot of limited beliefs and content out there on these beliefs by a lot of people that you should not even manifest specific people at all and it's wrong and it's um, unethical i'll actually make a whole different video on it um, they forget to realize that people are involved everywhere in any manifestation whether you're trying to bring um, a non-living object in your reality or a living being it does not matter people are involved everywhere all the time to bring your manifestation to you okay so should you manifest your specific person and recreate them or should you manifest a whole new person and this uh, i'm talking in romantic terms in a romantic relationship so that's going to be completely your choice and your decision um, I don't think you should be looking out for this answer anywhere out there and let anyone else tell you what you need to be doing. It's completely fine if you want to manifest an ex back, manifest an old person you are familiar with back or you want to manifest a new person. It depends on your comfort level. It depends on what you are willing to invest. It depends on what efforts you are planning to put in to recreate that specific person. It's your energy, attention, focus going into that, your mental energy, emotional energy. So no one else has uh, the right to make that decision for you or have a say in it. What I want to convey through this video is just a few pros and cons in both the situations from a manifestation perspective. Okay, so why do a lot of people want to recreate their specific person and want to manifest their ex back? It's definitely because there are feelings over there, right? Your feelings, your emotions are attached to this one person. Um, you've had a history with them. You've had these amazing experiences with them. You've exchanged love and intimacy, right? And it's hard getting over that, of course. Um, it's easier for some people to move on, but most of the time it's hard, right? If you have invested yourself completely emotionally, mentally, you have put in those efforts and you have been a good partner uh, from your perspective, then definitely it's hard to move on from that. And if you are presented with a choice that you would rather start fresh or rather start everything from scratch with a new person, or you can get this old relationship back where you've already done all the work, right? Sometimes when you've put in so much work and you've been with someone for a long time, the thought of starting from scratch with a new person, just that thought feels exhausting. Only that thought can be really exhausting because you get so tired eventually. And especially if you've been in a few relationships and finally you reach a place where you're tired of starting from scratch. Um, again, going through everything, getting to know each other, the stalking phase and getting committed, everything. It's a process. It's exhausting. You have to put your 100% there. Everything that you have, you put in, in the relationship, right? So I understand completely why people feel more comfort in wanting to recreate a specific person or manifesting their specific person back instead of going for a new one, okay? Now, what happens when you are with a specific person that uh, you want back or that you want to recreate? Because you might have had a history with them, there are dominant beliefs within you about them. You've already created the beliefs about them. You already have set thoughts and emotions and belief patterns within you about them. You have a history with them. Uh, you have this history of all the good things definitely but you also have the history of these negative things or these arguments of why so the things people places you did not agree about all the bad things as well everything is there in your memory right so your memory is full your inner world is full and saturated with everything 
that has happened in your relationship, good and bad. And the reason you're looking to recreate them mostly is because um, they are not showing up in a desirable way. It's not favorable to you. It's unpleasant, whatever it may be. When you already have dominant beliefs about something or someone, especially with people, with living beings, uh, we always feel it's difficult to recreate living beings or you know manifest them back. Because when you have those dominant beliefs, you have to put in more effort to replace those beliefs, to recreate them. And if they are around you all the time, if it's not a breakup, but you just want to recreate them and they're around you all the time, reflecting your previous beliefs, in between all that, trying to replace your beliefs, doing that work can be a little bit of a struggle. It's not impossible, but it can be a little difficult. And if they're not around you all the time, that's, that's peaceful in a way. If it's a breakup and you're trying to manifest them back, still you have so much history and negative experiences. You have to put in a lot of conscious effort in completely letting go of those experiences forgiving them, forgetting them, not holding any grudges, uh, letting go of all the resistance, all the resentment. It's a lot of work. Okay, it is work. The, it's never impossible to manifest anything or anyone. It's just the amount of work that is needed for things you have a lot of resistance around. And for the things you don't have resistance, it's much easier. So it's your battle to choose, right? What happens with a new person? With a new person, it's everything is very fresh, right? It's a fresh feeling. It's a blank canvas. It's a blank, clean slate. Okay, it's a clean slate. Uh, you don't have any preconceived notions about them, preconceived ideas. Um, you don't have any set assumptions about them. You don't have any core dominant beliefs about them that you, you know, can't get rid of. It's a new person. Everything is fresh. Everything is, you know, nice and new. So it's easier, it's easier with a new person, that's all it is, like it's much easier because you don't have to exhaust yourself in recreating someone, okay? I'm not saying it is exhausting for everyone, as I said, it will be completely personalized and subjective as any manifestation process is, but if you've had a lot of negative history, yes, it can be exhausting to recreate that person and as I said, if they're around you all the time, uh, not seeing your new beliefs reflect if it's taking time and the old beliefs are reflecting and it's kind of bothering you in your physical world it might be difficult to recreate that person so that's why in my opinion if you are at a stage where you're exhausted um, completely and you don't want to put in the efforts to recreate if a person because you have just too many dominant beliefs which you don't want to work on. It's all about your own energy and efforts. Do you want to put it over there? If you want to, you can recreate a specific person. It's completely possible. It's just a little bit more of an effort. Or if you want to start fresh on a clean slate, you can choose to manifest a new person. Now, what happens with a new person? Yes, you might not have set beliefs about them, but what can you project? What possibly can you project on them, okay? You can project your general uh, beliefs around love, relationship, and that gender. For example, if you're manifesting a man, your general beliefs around that gender, around men, around love, around relationships. If you have this general belief that I'm always left, I'll always be left and abandoned, whatever the reason may be, okay, eventually. Even if it's after one month, one year, five years, I'm always left in relationships. That's your general belief around love and relationship. If you have general beliefs around men, men always cheat, men always entertain flirting. Okay, these are your general beliefs. That is a high possibility you will reflect it onto the new person. And if you don't work on those beliefs or recreate them before you're manifesting the new person, they will project. And then that person will slowly start showing up in that same manner. Okay, and because they are showing up in that same manner, now you have those set beliefs about that person. Okay, that's how it works. So then again, you'll get into the cycle of, you know, um, that person is not showing up in a desirable and favorable manner. So the only uh, suggestion I would give is um, whatever you choose to do, 
recreate a person or manifest a new person uh, keep that little gap in between and try to recognize your limited beliefs around love relationships in general if you don't have any great if it's only about that person then it's fine um, you can manifest a new person right away it's actually faster than recreating uh, someone because as i said the efforts here go uh, a bit more uh, but if you do have limiting uh, beliefs around love and relationship work on them for the sole reason to not project them on the new person and then you know have them also show up in an unfavorable manner okay so that's all i wanted to discuss in today's video um, as mentioned earlier it's going to be completely your decision where do you want to put your energy and focus and do you have that unshakable belief faith and confidence that you can do it whether it's recreating a person or manifesting a new person it's your choice to make it's your decision to make in case you have any questions around manifestation third party specific person you can leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like share and subscribe before you leave the channel thank you